We on deck, man, with the third and final segment, man. Thank y'all for rolling with me. I'm Demi D. We in the building. If you ask me, where we talk that music and movie culture from the late 80s and mid 20s. So we gonna, I, I probably haven't done this in a while, but we're going to do a segment we do, Who Ripped It, where we talk about who had the either best verse or best two verses. And we're going to kick it off with a, a newer collab from um, ASAP Rocky. It's called One Train, and it features Big Crit, K-Dot, Yellow Wolf, Danny Brown, Joey Badass. I don't know if I left somebody out, but that's pretty much the newer class. Action. Action Bronson, Queen. Yo, I'm and, just and, disrespecting and Queens. Wolf. Not say Yellow Wolf, but I'm oh, just yeah, disrespecting yeah. Queens. Shout out to Bam Bam. So uh, I'm going to start with you, man, since you know you, you're the youngest out the bunch. Who had the best two verses, man? I'm torn, man. I think it's only between like three, three no, people. No, you think bro. everybody got a shot? Bro, I, at any given day, I feel like, yo, Action Rip. Action Rip. Then the next day is, yo. Crit rip, yo. Crit Crit. Oh, I didn't mean Joey, Big Crit. Yeah, uh, Joey rip. Fucking. I feel like the honestly for me the three weakest ones are Yellow Wolf, Sad, Rocky, and Danny Brown. Danny and that's no shade to anyone. No, no shade because no, because Rocky verse was tough. Right. That's and what I'm saying. It's only really between three yeah. or four. So, honestly. So who you got, man? Give give me a two. It's tough. Man. It's tough. Like honestly, I would have to say. Um, crit in action, and it's so hard for me to say that because. Kendrick's my favorite artist right Kendrick now. Kendrick can't take that, man. But, because, but again, it's a situation of like anything that this thing is on, I'm listening to and trying to be a fan gotcha. of it. But action and Big Crit. Those are my two favorite verses. Who you got, my guy? Action and Big Crit. Who you got, my guy? You want the truth? Who I got? Yeah, the, the, the top two. That's what we're here for. All right. The truth is, I never gave that song the time of day. Damn. I've tried to listen to it and I never got through it. through it. Oh, I, I haven't got through it to this day. To this day? I haven't got through it. Why not? I mean, it just maybe because the beat didn't hold my attention to listen to it. The beat is cool. The beat. I didn't, think it was like, more like, fun normally with me. Home. If if your production, me being a producer, your production hits me, I'm locked in. The production didn't grab me mm. to keep my attention to listen. Bottom line. So I, I I think I'm gonna go with you too. I want to say Yellow Wolf. Shout out to Yellow Wolf. I'm just I don't know. He got some controversy going on right now, but um, I'm gonna go Crip and Bam Bam. And even though I forgot about him on the track, I like how Joey and ASAP floated. They had the best flow, but I'm gonna go with Bam Bam in action. Yeah. So this is the next joint right here. I know y'all fuck with this shit. It's Kanye West, Old Paul, featuring Jay Z, <laughs> King Push. Saha the Prince. I never heard that one either. Nah, oh, get the fuck out of here. Saha. I was about to yes, say. Yes, Saha. Hey, yes. You gotta give me two, though. You gotta give me Saha. two. Okay, well then, Saha. Saha. Fuck two. Fuck him? Fuck two. Saha. I mean, if Saha. Hey, you, you gotta give somebody some love on him, man. It's a, it's a, I it's am. A, I'm giving Saha love. Cause, cause yay rip, whole rip, push rip. Everybody I mean, rip. it's a, it, it, Cause it, you know what? It's too cliche to say ho. Don't say ho. I ain't saying ho. I but wanna say no, but we'll say you have to. I want to, but I really don't. Yeah, you like, have I like, to. I like, I like push verse. Come on. I'm, okay, so I'm not gonna say ho because that's just the most ideal thing that everybody's expecting somebody to say ho. So I'm gonna give it Saha number one, and I'm gonna give it the push. I'm co-signing. And I'm gonna give it the Swiss on the hook. <laughs> I like RZA adding that shit too. That whole song was just dope. Yeah, that, that, that song was dope. That song was dope. I like the whole song. With, with fucking so I'm guessing, I'm guessing you're going to Jay-Z. I'm guessing you're going to Jay-Z. No, I'm actually I'm with him. I'm with Saha. Oh, this is unanimous. Yeah, I say Saha is number one, but I will interchange. I said Saha number one. I'll, I'll interchange. I know interchange it. Between uh, Kanye and Pusher. Push, Kanye is I think too. Kanye is like. That like, was just a little I'm joke. I'm so appalled, uh -huh. and bald. Yo, yo, he ripped that shit. It's a little That's probably the last, the wow. last few times that we had Kanye like really rapping on a song, and it's like, God damn, that shit's fucking cold. That was the last but, album Kanye rapped. Exactly. I saw high because <laughs> he, he just, said some shit. I killed it. He said, I keep a, I keep a seven on me. I call my Dro Lamar, and I got the gat in the path, like, like the month flip that he did. Work playing. Yeah. Look, I'm sorry. I know everybody ripped. But my nigga said, yo, I never said, but he said, I keep the city's finest. You know no, what I'm about to do. Never, no, no. Is that, is that Push's part? That's Push. He said, okay. I, I, I never, I never keep the city's finest. The city's finest never said she was the brightest. Never said she was the brightest. 
But I God dismiss the so she don't cross your highness. Like yeah. I forgot how you said it, but that was the Yo. shit right there. So we're gonna go I into think it's, yeah, Sahai. Sahai again. I'm going yeah. So it's for unanimous sure. then. Yeah, for sure. This rarely happens but sure. everyone has a unanimous pick. This is probably like the third the time. Unanimous number one. With the, yeah. with the unanimous. Yeah, Sahai, well just sure. even unanimous pick, period. Usually everybody got something different. Probably the third time or fourth. So we're gonna jump into G Unit right now. Mm. I for not or beg for mercy. I had a tough time with this one. Everybody bodied this shit. I'm going 50 though, man. I'm going to say Banks really made that help the song. You can't lie. No move thing. We ain't talking with the harmonizing. I'm going 50 though, man. I had enough of these niggas with these bird ass niggas. Fuck with me. I put your brain on the curb fast, nigga. Yeah, 50. Uh, I, I, Everybody ripped it. Yeah. But 50 just was, I don't know, man. He said, I put your brain on the New York Times. Go home, turn to the sports center, and read your, start on the sports page and read your mind. He was talking crazy on that, man. You know, oh, let, 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 who you got on that, man? I'm going to be the different one. I'm going high tech. Nah, man, no, no I'm beat going shot. High tech. I know you a producer. I'm going man. high tech. Give, give, I'm I, going high tech. That beat is, just that beat beat is nasty. Crazy. I'm going crazy. high tech. High tech. Give my man Banks some love. Then just say Banks. Be, I like the way Banks set it off. That's why I, I say he's kind of on the shelf. Yeah, he kind of on the shelf on that. I, I, I give it to Banks. Banks, Banks really set the tone on that. And then he has a little bridge yeah. and shit. Quick question. Um, I find out right. This song. Mm -hmm. uh, this is what year we talking about? Is it for mercy? Yeah. No, that's that's probably okay. like three because okay. fifty is after fifty's out. So this is around the same time like um did um victory the victory freestyle drop. The oh yeah, that's, that's yeah. Nah, that was two thousand four. Yeah, that's long, yeah. 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 All right, so far because I all right no actually it makes my point because I think at that time there's a thing where fifty is like yo y'all think I can't rap still yo. I got oh, you. he killed Beg for Mercy. Yeah, he killed Beg for he Mercy. He did a lot of flows and yeah. a lot of swag, but nah, he he, he went off on that. Yeah, he, 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 he's, fine. he's still rap. He's still showing young niggas that he can rap like how he used to rap when he used to be in the freestyles with fucking Big Noid and Nori and all the mother niggas and shit like that. On cool stretch, niggas. stretch Armstrong. Yeah, and yeah. Shit. yeah. So stretch yeah, Barbito, fix it. Stretch, stretch Barbito. All right, so yo, shout out to High Tech too, man, because I was just talking about him the other day. I'm on Twitter, heavy, heavy, heavy. So I was on Twitter talking about him and shout out to High Tech, man, and he killed this shit. And I just want to shout out to him real quick off of the um, old English that he did for game. Mm. He really provided a bang on the mm. and he fit game beautifully, dude. How uh, about the... Which one? Old English is dope, but what about the Martin Luther King joint he did for game and Nas? Which one is that? What album was that? I think that was the one. Not why you want to fuck with the game. No. That's just Blaze. Anyway, we're gonna, yeah, we'll talk yeah, about that we'll off camera and shit. We're gonna jump into the movie portion as we usually do in segment three. We're gonna talk about Shaft, which is pretty much a remake. I don't remember the year of the original. I'm not that yeah, old, like but 70s. probably the 70s. I, I don't want to. It's not 60s. Which was um, John Shaft was a big character in those days, and they pretty much did a remake. I think Shaft, um, Sam did a good job. This features Buster Rhymes though. So overall, though, what do you think about the movie? And did you think the plot was decent? I'm, I'm biased. Uh, Shaft is my father's shit. My, from, Shaft is my father's favorite anything. So, yeah. okay, I so like, I would go to his crib and watch that movie like religiously. So nice. I'm completely biased. The original or the remix? Yes, both. Oh, okay. He had he had all of it. He had Shaft go to Africa, all that shit. So he was satisfied with the he, remake. Yeah, he, nice. he yeah he had the DVD. He had all that shit. So it was a good know, movie. You feel me? Like it was it was a, it's a really solid movie, especially when especially. At that time, like you having people like remake or remake or try to bring back yeah, all dicey. these things, it's, it's kind of dicey. Mm -hmm. Like even to this day, it should have still been. Yeah, but um, they had a yeah, nice supporting cast. I think for someone of Samuel Jackson caliber, he has the range to do anybody. Like we talking about the same motherfucker who played a crackhead, who played a fucking detective, played who a played a cop, who played a computer engineer, who played a fucking uh, teacher, a teacher, who played, played, played a superhero, who played a superhero, who, who played a who played a fucking Nick Fury shit, Nick Fury, yeah, Nick Fury shit is dope. Who played a fucking he, he played a war criminal. He also played a nigga who who's on a plantation. Like he yes. has range. He has range. So I think for him to play that role as so Shaft. And every, all 